Um, so yeah, usually just, I guess, do like a, a skin fade on the side okay. um, and then do like a part uh, over here. And I usually do like a pretty thin line here okay. for, um, and then just kind of a comb over. Uh, and I usually just get a little off the top, kind of just some, leave enough like to get my hair over. Um, well, honestly, like whatever you think will look good. Like I've had the same hairstyle for a long time, but I'm open to that. Yeah, if you have any other ideas. When you saw yes and no, uh, the reason is because your hair's already parted here. So I, we could give you something different. Okay. But we have to cut a lot of this just to be able to connect. Sometimes that I'll do like a line here, like closer yeah. to here. Um, like a like a like an actual part yeah separated so yeah like i yeah like a, a part here and then this is like more shaved here uh do like this shaved here and then with like a thin line okay but i i personally okay i'm gonna give you my my advice right yep. so if it's looking at your head shape and your face i think going all the way like this makes your head look like this and that's not necessarily uh more flattering gotcha uh what i would do differently is if you know same hairstyle but what i would do i would try to make him more quick okay that's gonna make your face look longer okay and we're gonna make you look more masculine and all that and it's gonna like kind of a stretching face a little bit which is a good thing something you want so instead of going all the way to the top i would build some of this a little bit you know what i mean so it's a little bit more square so it doesn't look like this gotcha you know what do do whatever you want whenever you think will look the best when you do like the lie though I, I kind of like having the line. I guess I think it's cool. Fish. Okay, so then let's do this with the line just because though they can get cut like, when I both lines. Yeah, you wouldn't be parked. It will be gotcha. So they wouldn't have lines. So they're like, I like the skip the line turn out. Okay. You know, let's do that with the line. And then maybe next time, you know, we're trashing to the fat. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is David Fala. As you guys saw in the consultation, we're going to be doing a comb over side part with a actual hard part. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wet the top and I'm going to separate the top from the sides, looking at the girl pattern, seeing what the hair wants to do. And that's exactly how I'm going to section the hair. I always do that with every single haircut. After I do that, then for me, it's easy to create my blood graduation. That's the technique I chose to be able to do this hairstyle. And this blood graduation is going to be a guide, not just to how high to go with my clippers, but also what is going to connect with the top. Right now that I'm done creating my blood graduation all around, what I'm going to do is cut the top and I'm not cutting a huge amount, just cutting the tips. In this case, that's enough for the client to uh, look like he got a haircut, but also for the hair to style how the client wants it. If I cut it too short, it's not going to style. So this is something that we talked to him on during the consultation. Now I'm connecting the sides with the top, rounding that corner a little bit, just so it flows a little bit better. And that's it. Then once I'm doing that, then I'm going to create my hard part. And the reason I'm doing it right now, it's very, very simple. It's because the hair is wet, the skin is wet, it's lubricated. So I'm gonna use my razor to create that line. Instead of drying the hair and then having to reapply shave gel or water just to create that line, might as well be efficient and do it right now. I'm drying the hair, I'm not styling it, I'm just drying it in the way that I want to so I can use my clippers. I'm using a number three with the lever open and this number three is going to connect to the blood graduation that I did previously and this is why it's so important for me to create that blood graduation first so I know exactly how high to go with my clippers and what is going to connect from the, from the sides to the top. Now I'm using my machine lever close to create my skin line. And this is going to be more like a mid fade. It's not gonna be that high. So this is why I'm placing my skin line exactly where I'm placing it, following the head shape. It's very important that you follow the shape. Now I'm opening my lever and I'm gonna create another guide about a finger's width. And this is going to allow the fade to have those different tones that we like at the moment that we create a fade. Now I'm using a number one lever open and this is going to start connecting to that number three that we created previously. Now I'm using my trimmer to remove all the hair from the bottom, from the underneath the number zero to make sure it's a clean canvas and I can actually use the, raz the razor or the shaver to make it very skin. That's exactly what I'm doing. How you can see, I'm not going all the way to the number zero that I created previously. I'm staying about a finger underneath that because I don't want to go all the way to the top because then I will create a line and it's very hard to remove. 
Now I'm gonna start down fading. I'm using my Babyliss Low Pro. This is the older version. The new one came out and it's super, super cool. If you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link in the description for that machine because it's actually one of my favorite ones. Um, I'm, I used the lever with the one and a half open first and now I'm using it closed so you can see. So I open the lever first and close. Now I'm using my number one again with the lever open and I'm gonna go close that lever as I need it, right? It's very important that if you notice that whatever step you in or whatever position the lever is in, you already erase whatever line you were trying to erase, then great, you don't have to close the lever even more. Sometimes closing the lever too much, it might actually mess up your fade. So this is why like close it as you need it. Now I'm using the half, always start with lever open and only close it as much as I need it. In this place, I do need it to close it all the way, but in some hair, cause honestly I close it halfway and it's already faded the way I want it. So then I don't have to close the lever all the way. It's something to keep in mind. Now I'm using the machine with a lever open first and I'm gonna close it little by little, following those notches to make sure that everything is exactly how I want it and that skin line is fully, fully, fully removed. Okay, I'll continue uh, erasing the lines. Just make sure, take your time with this step because I feel like a lot of barbers try to rush this step and that's where they make mistakes. Take your time, use the corners and the parts of the head rounds to make sure that you create the blend that you want. Now I'm using my trimmers to be able to shape up this very natural and I wanna go nitty crazy. Now that I'm done, I'm applying a little bit of product on the top to I can fully style it the way the client wants it. This is how he looked before and this is how he looks now. This was the first time I was cutting these clients. So I was super uh, happy to be able to see him and the face that he had. He was super happy when I finished the haircut. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you find some value, don't forget to subscribe and like it so you don't miss any of the new videos, tutorials, and everything I'll be bringing very soon. I'm kind of redoing the channel. I have so many ideas, super motivated. I have so much to tell you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and like it and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one take care